Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 1 Econometrics We like to present our presentation regarding prevalence of diabetes Diabetes is a chronic health condition that can affect our life including increasing the chances of getting heart stroke our objective is to find the relation between those dependent variable and explanatory variable. The data was obtained from 53 countries from World Bank data and HDR data using cross-sectional data. Past literatures have explained the relationships between prevalence of diabetes and its factors. The first one is Human Development Index. Countries with higher HDI are more developed and have better health care, so reducing the risk of diabetes. Secondly, urban population, people living in urban area have more sedentary lifestyle and less active, so will increase the risk of diabetes. Secondly, the tobacco use cause type to diabetes and according to some scholars, smokers are 30 to 40% more likely to get type 2 diabetes than non smokers. Lastly, the level of obesity rate, where the higher rate of obesity in a country lead to higher rate of diabetes. The dependent variable in our model is DPR, diabetes prevalence rate, and there are four explanatory variables. The first one is HDI, Human Development Index. The second one is UP, urban population. The third one is TBC, current tobacco use. And the fourth one is OBR, obesity rate. And all of the data are from 2011 except for tobacco use. Our model are the linear form model and we expect all the coefficient which is beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and beta 4 to be positive. Using e-views, we derive some of the important statistics pertaining to our selected variables from a total of 53 observations for summary statistics. This is the initial result for our regression after we had inserted the data in the e-views. To summarize briefly, we can see the value of coefficient uh, respectively for each variable. Beta 1 is equal to negative 3.113, beta 2 is equal to negative 0 0.001, beta 3 is equal to negative 0 0.02, and beta 4 is equal to uh, 0 0.240. The specification error in this part, we are using the Ramsey reset test to check whether or not there is specification error in our regression model. As would happen if there is excluded of important variable while including the unimportant variable. From the Ramsey reset test, we get the F statistic value, which is 2.991, which is bigger than our critical value. Therefore, we rejected the hash naught as there is specification error in this model. To check on the problem in multicollinearity, we conducted four auxiliary regression as we have four explanatory variables. So we regress explanatory variables on the other explanatory variables, which means each of the explanatory variables add as the dependent and regress with other explanatory variables. The cutoff value of R squared to indicate the multicollinearity problem would be R squared greater than 0.8. We found one auxiliary coefficient result that it's uh, R squared is greater than 0 0.8. This shows that serial multicollinearity exists in our model. As remedy to this problem, we decide to do nothing because some of variables are still significant and consistent to our expectation. And if we drop the variable, the changes on the T value is not that much and it might also affect our specification error. The next step is we will run two tests. Um, to find serial correlation in our regression model. For the Robin Watson test, the limitation is that it can only be used to test for first order serial correlation. From our finding, we reject the null hypothesis because the T value is not in acceptance rate. So we conclude that there is first order serial correlation. The second method is brush code free LM test. From our finding, we will reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is less than alpha and we can conclude that there is zero correlation in our regression model. After that, we use Nearly West test to fix the zero correlation and this is the result. So we use white test to test the heteroscedasticity test and we found out that H0 is accepted as the CD value is lower than the statistic value. 
For final model, we conduct t-test for each explanatory variable to test for individual significance. From the hypothesis testing, the result of obesity rate is significant, but the other variables which are human development index, urban population and current use of tobacco are insignificant. The next part is test for overall significance. The null of hypothesis is that beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and beta 4 are zero, while the alternative hypothesis is that not all parameters are zero. Our test is a value is 2.991352 and the critical value is 2.53. Therefore, we rejected the hash naught as the test statistic value is larger than the critical value. In conclusion, the Human Development Index, Urban Population, Tobacco Use, and Obesity are jointly have the significant effects on the diabetes. Alternatively, there is overall significance of the model. After we carry out the test, we found out that there's specification error on Ramsey REST test where the test statistic is greater than critical value and H0 is rejected. Multicollinearity has a problem where the R square of HDI is greater than 0 0.8, while serial correlation rejected H0 because the Bing Watson D test showed that D value is not in accepting range and roots. Bridge Godfrey LM test shows p value is lower than alpha. However, there is no error in heteroscedasticity test and shows that our regression equation is homoscedasticity. For the test for individual significance, only obesity rates are proven to significantly affect the prevalence of diabetes rate. And the test for overall significance shows that all independent variables jointly have a significant effect on the prevalence of diabetes rate.